I will create uh, a new virtual machine called CUCM subscriber I will select the Linux operating system and I will give it a 2 GB memory and 120 GB of virtual hard disk and a NAT adapter I will use a physical DVD drive I will not add a floppy or a USB controller and now I'm ready to start my subscriber In the meantime, let me show you how to remove the alliance from the CUCM. I guess it's not yet fully booting. Now the CUCM server subscriber will start the console. Here it is asking again to perform the media check we will select no I should start the CUCM publisher server from uh, since when we started this video. Here again, it needs some time to check for the resources. Again, if you use anything less than 2 GB for the memory and 120 GB for the virtual hard disk, the installation of CUCM would fail. Now we see our publisher that is running 7.0 is up we need to log in to the server enter your credential details username and password there is two places to remove the DNS alliance the first place is to go to the server 
and select your first server and here in the host name when you install the, the server and you log in for the first time this one should be a host name but I already changed it to, uh, to an IP so here is the first place where you need to change the host name and put the real IP address of the server the second place is to go to, to, go to the enterprise parameters and to search for URL you will find here the host name you have to change it to an IP which I already did the first time you will log in it should be a host name so you need to change it and to change it to an IP address this will eliminate the failure of uh, of the CUCM when the DNS fails so going back to our subscriber we will select CUCM almost it is the same configuration for the publisher and here we will proceed selecting yes again we will proceed and we will not apply any upgrade batch continue we will select our time zone and for the network card we enable auto negotiation we will not change the default MTU size and we will not enable DHCP on this screen we will enter the manual configuration for the subscriber server so it should be CUCM sub the IP address and the gateway I should highlight that the subscriber should see the publisher and the gateway at the same time if the subscriber were not able to communicate with the publish to, with the publisher or the gateway the installation will fail we will not enable DNS and here we will put the administration username and password but once the ser the installation was discovered that this is not the publisher or the first node server it will discard this username and password and it will take the password that you specified in the publisher configuration so we'll proceed with OK here you will just put the information for the location of this server and this is informational only for your reference is it, it is not going to affect your installation here ask you whether this server is the first node we will select no and it will just give you the warning that if the subscriber did not or was not able to communicate with the publisher the installation with will fail and in this window it will ask you for the information of the publisher here in the host name you have to put the exact publisher host name and it is case sensitive if this host name did not match the publisher host name the installation will fail and here you should specify the IP address and the security password that is used to communicate or integrate with the publisher it will ask you whether 
you want to enable SMTP we'll select no and by that you will be this is this is, will be the last configuration that you need to do and you will just acknowledge that the configuration is done and press ok and the CUCM will start to install during this installation you should go to the publisher and add the subscriber server on the publisher administration if you did not add the subscriber to the publisher it will give you the warning message that this server is not defined on the publisher at that time you need to go to your publisher and add the subscriber server and you will do that by navigating to system server add new and here you will specify the address of the publisher uh, sorry the address of the subs uh, the address of the subscriber that you want to add and give it a description and save by that we have finished the demonstration on how to install CUCM 8.0 on VMware. Next, I will upload a video for Unity installation on VMware. Thank you.